So back amigos, David here. Today's the day. I'm about to hop on the plane to Italy. Hey everybody, if you've been following my channel for long, you know that I love ocarinas. It's what I've been doing professionally for the past 10 years as an indie musician and as a YouTuber. And to mark the occasion, I released my Ocarina Road EP. This was an EP of six original songs that I've written the last couple years. But I wanted to turn that into a full album, which means I needed to release at least four to six brand new songs. The issue with that is that I'm mostly composed based on personal experience and my interactions with people. So since the theme of this album is travel experiences, I knew I needed to get back out on the road. And it was perfect timing because the Ocarina Festival in Budrio was happening again this year. Now, I've actually been there twice. In 2011 was my first trip to Budrio, which is the town where the Ocarina was invented. It was at the end of one of my college semesters back in 2011, and right at the end they give you two study days. So you get off on a Wednesday, and then your final startup on Monday. So it was in this perfect pocket of time that the Ocarina Festival was happening. And I hopped on a plane Wednesday morning. I arrived in Budrio on a Thursday and I had to leave Sunday morning to get back to my classes on Monday. I was dead for those finals. But I really enjoyed being in Italy for that three day period of time. I got to meet so many ocarina makers and players and collectors from all over and I really needed to go back. So in 2015, I went back for two weeks, thank God. Spent a few extra days in Italy and had the time of my life. So this was the plan. I was going to go to Italy for the Budrio Ocarina Festival, which was a weekend long once again. However, I was going to stay a little bit longer to tour throughout Europe to promote my new EP, Ocarina Road, while also looking for inspiration for four to six brand new songs to complete my Ocarina Road extended edition album. And before I forget, this is my potential itinerary. We're going to start in Rome for several days before going on to Florence, and then go over to Bologna, hop on a train to Budrio for the Ocarina Festival, then head to Venice, and then our squad's going to separate there, and me and Mark are going to head over to Vienna, Austria, which is going to be a really long train ride, and then we're going to go visit our friend Hans and his Ocarina workshop, spend several days there before heading on to Munich, Germany. This is where I'm going to have my first concert and Mark is actually going to leave right after that as well. So it's just going to be me going to the rest of these places. After that we have a concert in Zurich, Switzerland, followed by Karlsruhe, Germany. Then I have Frankfurt, Germany, Cologne, Germany, over to Brussels, Belgium, then to Ghent, Belgium, then Paris, and then I end my trip in London. That's a lot of cities to fit into this small amount of time, and here are some potential challenges. First of all, I didn't have enough money for airfare, so fortunately Songbird Ocarina offered to help cover some of it if I would take around one of their newest creations, the Songbird Ocarina of Light, which I will show you guys in a future video. I've also never been outside of Italy, so while I'm going to be traveling throughout Italy with some friends, once we're at our last stop halfway through the second week, we're splitting up, and me and Mark are going to go to Austria, but after that, I'm pretty much by myself, which is a little bit scary. Not only do I have to figure out the transportation systems, but I also have to get over some potential language barriers because I only speak English, a little bit of Italian, and a little bit of French. But thankfully, after Austria, I'm visiting with some Akamigos and Patreon supporters who are helping me to organize concerts in their cities and then also offering me a place to stay, which is going to really help save some money if all goes according to plan. So thank you guys, I really appreciate that. And on that note, the only way that I can financially sustain myself for this trip is by selling those physical copies of my Ocarina Road EP and my previous album because I barely got those in time for this trip. And the final potential challenge is I don't really know how these concerts are going to go. Every single one of them is completely different in terms of a venue. The first one is going to be at the Ocarina Festival as a featured performer. Um, the second is going to be kind of a house concert type setting. The third one is going to be in a community center. The fourth one is going to be at an actual theater. The fifth one is an ocarina workshop inside of a music studio. And then the final one to cap everything off is going to be in a nerd geek bar slash coffee shop. So every venue is different. Every audience is going to be different. We're going to see how this goes crossing my fingers. All that being said, I am very excited to go on this adventure and to meet up with my Akamigos from all over the world and find some inspiration to finish writing this album. I think there's so much potential for some really great experiences. So to start it off, I hopped on a plane to go to Rome for several days. 
I first took a flight to Chicago, had a layover for about five or six hours, and then I hopped on a plane, which is about 13 hours, to Rome, where I was going to meet with my friend Roxy. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Ramos, thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. Take care now. Thank you. 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 Uh, before we head off towards the Ocarina Festival while we're gonna be in Rome. And I discovered her on Instagram because she was posting all these different covers of pop songs, Disney songs, video game tunes, and we started chatting uh, and I told her I was gonna be going to Italy and she said she would meet me there. So we met at that festival and then we've been good friends ever since. She's also one of the happiest and most enthusiastic people I know, so I was really glad that I got to kick off this first day of the trip with her because I was basically dead. Hey guys, so I'm now in Italy. Uh, I'm here with Roxy. Ah! <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but when you travel 10, 12, 13 hours on a plane, sometimes it's really difficult to get some sleep. I didn't get a lot of sleep, maybe about an hour. I spent six hours watching movies. But as the day went on, I slowly started to feel that sleep deprivation set in. So we went to her place. I got to meet her mom and I have been trying to learn how to play the castanets, which are really difficult to play. Her mom played them professionally uh, as a flamenco dancer, and so she gave me a couple quick lessons on how to play. Try it too. Yeah, Position the angle. and mm -hmm. your and yours. I like oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better, yeah. We're lifting this. I know. I can see it. <laughs> but I feel, I feel better about this, the the rolling yeah. position now. Then we decided to go to a local mall to go shopping. And just as a quick aside, I spent about $100 shopping for this trip because in previous trips, I really felt like I was out of place in terms of my fashion. So uh, I really wanted to just buy a little bit of clothing because Italy is extremely fashionable and I wanted to fit in a little bit. So I spent about $100. I thought I did a pretty good job budgeting for it. However, when we got to this mall, everything was on sale for like 75% off. And I could have got the same amount of clothing for about half of what I spent in America. And then left half of what I brought behind, if that makes sense. So I was tired, I was a little bit frustrated, and uh, I ended up buying a scarf. So that was kind of cool. But at this point, I was like falling over. So uh, we decided to go grab some pizza. Uh, get my energy up a little bit and then we finally made it back to Roxy's mom's place and went to bed for the night. I survived the first day by not going to sleep. In fact, let me cap off this video by just giving that bit of advice. If you're going to be flying overseas anywhere, do your best not to fall asleep until it's bedtime that night. Because if you stay awake, ow, because if you stay awake up until that point, you're not going to experience jet lag like you would if you took a nap during the day. And I'm so thankful that Roxy mentioned that to me because the next day after a full night's rest, I felt amazing. So just keep that in mind. So that was a successful first day. I would love to hear what your travel experiences have been. If you've been overseas or if you have any travel tips, please leave those in the comments down below. I'd love to check those out. I have new episodes of Ocarina Road coming every single Thursday. So be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss those. And I have new music videos on Saturdays as well. So hope to see you guys then. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next Thursday.